Has your PC grayed out a playback device with the AMD high definition audio device is not plugged in error? Don't panic. We are here to help. Here are some ways to fix the issue. Method 1. Run DISM. With the help of the DISM or Deployment Image Servicing and Management command, you can fix system bugs that could possibly be leading to the error. Here are the steps for the same. In the Windows search bar, type CMD. Select Run as Administrator from the right hand side. When the command prompt opens, copy and paste this command and press Enter. Wait for the command to run and once the process is complete, type another simple command which is SFC forward slash scan now and again press enter. Close the command prompt and restart your computer. This should hopefully resolve the AMD high definition audio device not plugged in error. If not, move to the next solution. Reinstall the audio device and driver. Do as the title says, reinstall the AMD audio device and the driver. For that, follow these steps. Press Windows plus X key combination. When the device manager window opens, locate and double click on sound, video and game controllers. Right click on the AMD high definition audio device and then click on uninstall device. Click on the checkbox next to delete the driver software for this device and further click on uninstall. When the process finishes, restart your computer so that Windows can reinstall the generic device driver for you. Update available drivers. You may get the AMD high definition audio device not plugged in error if your PC or AMD audio driver is missing or outdated. To fix this, you will have to update the missing or outdated drivers. The best, the fastest and the smartest way to do that are to use a driver updater utility. Advanced Driver Updater, for instance, is one of the best programs to update corrupted or outdated drivers. Here is how it works. Download Run and Install Advanced Driver Updater. Click on the blue colored Start Scan Now button. Once the scan is complete, locate the outdated AMD driver and click on the checkbox next to its name. Now click on the blue colored Update Driver button. Once the process completes, restart your computer. We hope that now you have been able to get rid of this error and if you have, do like and share this video. For more such easy troubleshooting guides, hit that subscribe button and if you have any suggestions, do tell us know in the comment section below.